Hey you guys, welcome back. It's Miss Kara, and today I am bringing you this back to school glam. And it can also be an everyday glam. Like, you can wear it to even one show something they do wear makeup to school. Whether you're in high school, college, you know, it's up to you. But, you know, I think it's kind of a toned down look. Something everyday, really quick. And, yeah, if you want to say I got this look right here, then keep watching. Okay, so the first palette we're going to use is the Morphe 350 palette. And we're going to take the medium brown is like right below the green and one of the darkest browns. Okay, so it's like this brown and just blend it above the crease. And the Morphe 350 palette is a great affordable palette to have, especially if you're on the budget. It has mostly all neutral colors and it has some gold shimmers. And that's what mostly everybody use. And if you're going back to school and you know you want to do a little bit of makeup, it's a perfect palette. Okay, I'm gonna take this dark brown and place that above the crease. And you have to be careful with these colors because they, the Morphe palette anyway, because they are pigments here, especially the darkest colors. Like, we didn't have makeup when I was in school. I mean, they, we did, but it wasn't, like, really popular like it is now. And the only thing girls did in school was wear heels, and why I never understood that shit for the life of me. Like, why are you wearing heels in school? Like, last time I checked, Chris Brown was not in school. So, I just never understood that. They didn't struggle to walk down the hallway and see class all the time because you wouldn't be keeping more heels. But it was just stupid to me. But, yeah. But even now, like if I was in school, I still don't think I would wear makeup because it takes too long. But you have to get up extra early unless your classes don't start to about 12 or something. Because it takes me 30 minutes just to do my brows. So, I don't know. And, okay, and for the crease, we're going to take the Julius Place Magic Palette. I'm going to take this violet and navy blue. And I'm also going to use that copper color in the middle for the lid. It's in that purple and the blue together. Okay, 
so I put the outer corner as the blue and purple and put the bronzy color from the Magic Palette on the lid. And I think because I have hooded eyes, they always come out different. So like more colors on one of them. But it's because this eye is bigger. So I think that's the problem that I'd be getting to. I don't know, but we go do a little, we might go do a wing. Like I haven't been feeling the whole wing look lately. So let's go put little black line above the lash line. Okay, and if you do choose to wear makeup to school, you do want to stay on all day and your skin be flawless, okay? So, the Smashbox one, this is the travel size. That was one also. I think it was like $10. This is very good. And what else? They have the Milani one. And I think Maybelline has one too. I'm not sure. I haven't tried it yet. But those three are good ones. Okay, and to have okay, and a lightweight foundation, a really good one is, of course, y'all already know my favorite, the NYX Total Job Control Foundation. I love this stuff. Like, it is feels like skin, it looks like skin. It's easy to blend. Like, it's just, it's just amazing. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to use anything else. So, yeah, I will be seeing this foundation for a while until I find something better, which I haven't so far. Uh, who else? The L'Oreal Infallible Matte. Those are really good. I tried those. And y'all know I wear a lot of the mixed products in what he used to mix fashion coverage concealer. And you don't need a lot of this. But it does spray it quickly. Like that's about enough. And of course the HD concealer is good too. And if your concealer is too light, what I do is kind of blend it out a little bit. First on the clean end. And then I go in with the bottom part that I put foundation on to mix it together. And it will darken it up so it won't be so light. And to set it, I'm going to use my um, airspun powder with my Sasha Buttercup. I mix those two together because the Sasha Buttercup is way too yellow for my skin. And the airspun powder is just too white. So I just mix the two together and they're good. And this setting powder, I see a lot of hype about this now because I've been wearing it for about a month now. And I must say, my makeup looks a whole lot better. So. And to 
contour, I'm going to use this. It's new for me. It's the next three step to sculpt palette and it has a highlighter, contour shade, and a setting powder. And I have the light one. So this is very good. Like NYX, they have been coming out with a lot of new products this year and it's all of them have been bomb. Okay. So this contour is really good in your palette. I did use the setting powder the other day. And if you have dry skin, it'll work. But for somebody like me that has oily skin, it really didn't do too much. It probably lasted for like an hour. Yeah, after that, it was three cents. So, but it is good though. Like, like I said, if you have dry skin. But the contour and the highlight, perfect. Spray to make you know your slaves stay all day. Yeah, that rhymes. It's the Urban Decay All Nighter one. So I usually use the D Sleep because I have oily skin, but people say this one is really, really good. So I'm going to try this one out. And this is the travel size. I don't know how much I paid for this, but it was under $20. And what else? NYX Matte Setting Spray. That's really good too. Highlighter. I'm going to take the highlighter that's in the NYX 3 Step Sculpt Palette. This highlighter is very pretty and it's subtle, so it's not like you know, just like bam in your face. So, you know, you're just going to school, so you don't want nothing too blinding. Unless you just feel like no blinding the bitch today, just because, but you know. So, I love you, your opinion. See, like you can see it, but it's still very pretty and yet subtle. So it's just enough. But you can build it up. I did the other day. It's very pretty. Thank you. 